Previously on the John Bam Show. Welcome to day 686. Here we go, boys. Bam! How you doing? Morning, everybody. Hey, you feeling good out there, boys? Get the better for you. Start up our eating tower bars. Our day to be eating, there you bear. Fired out of a kind of bad herb. Had like a two days to just sleep, you know what I mean? So get it with Smash a f like button! Welcome to day 687. Hey, that's a lot of days, chat. Do you have any idea? I don't want to do yesterday. Wait, chat, are we ready for some massive God tier content today on the John Bam Show? Hey, Sad, why don't you take and play the thingamajiggers so we can figure out what happened Back. yesterday? I don't need to explain anything. Ate the whole bar last night on accident? Oh, it wasn't an accident. Back. It wasn't an accident. Did I realize how long it would last? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. All right. I shout out for today's intro, Mountain Mama. God damn, that was beautiful, Mountain Mama. Uh, Chad, if you want to be as cool as Mountain Mama, uh, record an intro. Send it to Sad Killer, send it to me, whatever it is. Uh, and you two can be a part of history. Accurate. Yeah, all right, let's get into it, chat. Uh, did I do all the intros and everything? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, chat, this is what happened. It's time to get down Back. to what happened yesterday. Um, hello. Hello! Uh, okay, I will attempt to say what happened. So chat, remember I told you Amanda found a place like right by our house selling weed? So we bought a bunch of weed. I, I got 500 milligram Wonka bars. For context, the average person would usually eat 5, 10, 15, 20. If they're feeling crazy, they eat 100. I ate 500 milligrams, okay? <laughs> I ate 500 milligrams, and uh, I mean, the best way to explain it is I was tripping my balls off, chat. It, that, it, that was not a weed high. That was, that was not a weed high. I've smoked a lot of weed. I've eaten a lot of weed. I've done all the weed. 500 milligrams, chat? I, the closest I could honestly tell you was it was like being on some pretty good mushrooms that's what it felt like it felt like I, I had eaten some pretty goddamn good mushrooms to the point that i needed like an anchor i've never needed that on weed any ever in my life have i ever needed like an anchor and uh my anchor to the real world during this incredible adventure was my wife obviously so i looked to amanda Okay, because at one point in the evening, like, I was deep in it, bro. Like, <laughs> I was on another planet. And I looked to Amanda for some, uh, you know, to be the rock. Yeah, I'm just on the marijuana. Is my wife being normal. Uh, I, unfortunately, I look at Amanda, and she's, like, literally, like, what? Do you know the inflatable thing in front of the used car dealership? That's Amanda. And she's talking at 80,000 miles an hour. She's like, oh my God. So my rock was also tripping balls. Amanda never, ever, ever, ever smokes weed, eats weed. Amanda doesn't touch it. She's not into it. You know, Amanda gets crazy by uh, drinking a bottle of wine. So this night, she ate about 100 milligrams. <laughs> so I didn't have a rock. You know what I mean? I, I didn't have like a, a portal to the real world because my portal to the real world was also fucking annihilated. Now remember at one point I get in bed, I get in bed and Amanda had turned the air conditioner on to like negative a million, right? And I, like I could feel my whole body trembling, but I'm so completely stupidly wasted. I could not get out of bed to do anything. Right? Like, my, my my brain was stuck in this spot where it's like, I just have to maintain where I am now, and everything will be okay. Right? Uh, so, I look at Amanda, and I'm like, you got to turn the AC down. And she's looking at me like I'm crazy. She goes, no way. It's hot in here. Meanwhile, if the AC doesn't get turned down, I'm going to turn into a cup of orange juice uh, and need to go to the hospital. 
So uh, I had to give her a look, right? I'm like in bed and I give her a look like, turn the AC down. That's his, That's his, the most I was capable of. That That's all I could do at that point. If I had to get up, like if an intruder had walked into my room, I would have been like, hey. And just kept, like, I never, ever been that gone. I've never been that gone uh, on, on the marriage of Juana's. But, uh, so there it was. So then I fall asleep. I wake up the next day for stream yesterday morning. I am just as high as when I went to bed. Honest to God, chat. We're lucky I even got that 40-minute streaming yesterday. I'm lucky I even did that. I could not sit up that whole stream yesterday. I was like this. I miss you. And my eyes were so heavy. They were, I was like, it, it was crazy, dude. So I ended the stream yesterday. I got back in bed, and I slept until like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Woke up. I was still stoned. It, I didn't actually feel like I was sober yesterday until like 10 o'clock at night last night. Thought I was sick. No, no, no. I was just literally, it, I didn't want to admit what was going on. And that was the other thing. I was so messed up yesterday on stream that I didn't know. I didn't want to say this on stream, but what I was singing is I can't tell if I'm just still so annihilated from the thing or if I'm actually sick. Like, that's how it was. It was ugly, chat. Uh, so the moral of the story is here. Don't ever eat that much. Don't ever. Oh, I had to have the cam off. Thank God I was smart enough to have the cam off uh, for yesterday. But, uh, yeah, it, a lesson to learn here. Don't go anywhere near that. Don't don't go anywhere near that. That was a mistake. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I, I know my limit now. I, I don't think I will ever again eat 500 milligrams. Y'all, I was lying about the camera, bro. Trust me, chat. We, we are genuinely lucky I even got that stream in yesterday. A at one point, I was, like, uh, hanging out watching uh, cave diving videos that were just blowing my mind. I felt like I was in the cave with them. Oh, and I don't know who... Part of the reason I say I feel like I was on the Boomer Shroomers or something is because I had also heard somebody else talk about this. I don't know if it was in chat. Rooms closing in. Like, feeling like a room is getting smaller. That was a thing that night. Again, blowing my, blowing my mind because that shit don't happen on weed, dude. You know what I experienced? The reason they still uh, call it a... Um, a hallucinogen. Because that experience, uh, I've smoked everything. <laughs> you know, every every because type of fat. joint, blunt, bong, pipe. I've never achieved fat. that Thanks from those. No, I didn't have any kind of like actual hallucinogen. I didn't see anything. I felt everything. The other thing I found weird about it is fat, the up Yeet. and down. Like, the whole night, I was trying to explain this to Amanda last night. Uh, I was doing this in the More high the whole the whole night. It was weird. The college world series. What? Now, what are you doing? That's who I put all my money on. That's who I put all the money on, you know? I, I have no plans to eat the other Wonka bar anytime soon. I might need at least a month. And then I think my that new limit will be maybe 200 milligrams. Amanda warned me, too. When I ate the 500 and told her, she's like, you ate 500? She's like, yeah. don't you remember you get those crazy weed hangovers? I'm like, no, what are you talking about? And then yesterday happened. How? Sid's dent. Let's take Sid's dent and smack it against the ice a bunch. I'm into it. Sounds good to me, man. Last Bro. day of ice. This is the last day of ice, chat. I'm telling you. We are finishing today. Today. We, oh, that's what they just passed. They passed a law where a company like doesn't have to uh, refuse your employment if you test positive for weed on a drug test. It was something like that.
or like uh, companies don't have to drug test for weed anymore. Some shit like that, which is, I'm pretty sure was a big thing Amazon was uh, lobbying for. Amazon wanted to be able to hire people that smoke weed. If you operate heavy machinery, well, it's up to your job, right? I doubt your employer is going to be like, yeah, get in the forklift. Who cares if you're stoned? But, um, you know, doing something else, like working in a library, you're probably fine, right? So they're allowed to hire you now if you smoke weed. Also, I don't want to freak anybody out. But I'd be willing to bet that 95% of the people operating heavy machinery smoke weed. What do you think about that, chap? Like, I know a lot of construction dicks. They all get off of work and drink and smoke weed. In fact, I had a friend that drove a giant excavator. You know, not an excavator. A huge, a huge tractor for plowing uh, the airport. Right, and this dude was a drug e, and he was in charge of driving the giant yellow plow at the airport, and literally crashed into the jet fuel tank. Not joking. He crashed it into the giant thing of jet fuel. Yeah, I would think if you drive, even an Uber, you should be tested and be sober. Obviously, I do not want to get picked up by a stoned Uber. Or get on a plane with a stone pilot or a bus with a stone driver. That all seems fair enough to me. You know, some jobs they definitely need to still not allowed. To be fair, he also didn't have a license. Oh, wait, do you remember this story, Kuma? <laughs> yeah, Kuma might actually know about this guy. He might remember this story. The oh, wait a minute. Hey, hey, hey. The guy that we're talking about that crashed the excavator into the fuel tank is also the same guy that crashed my truck and then tried to tell me someone else did it. <laughs> that fucking guy, dude. We were working. I, I, I think it was during college. I think it was during college. Me and a bunch of friends, including this one dude. We're working at like a an oil change, like an instant oil change place, right? And uh, he took lunch before me. And one day he's like, hey, man, can I use your truck? Run over to Burger King or whatever he was doing. I, yeah, go ahead, dude. He comes back like 10 minutes later and he's like, bro, this guy fucking slammed into your truck and then took off. But I couldn't catch up to him to see who it was because your truck is such a piece of shit. I'm like, what? You got to be fucking kidding me. So I immediately call the police. And the 911 operator says to me, why'd you wait so long to call? And immediately I'm, I'm looking at my friend like, I'm like, I'm not. It just happened. And then the 911's like, all right, well, the police will be there in a minute. I go outside with my buddy to, uh, to look at the truck. And while we're sitting out in the truck waiting for the cop, he goes, uh, I hit that guy and took off. What the fuck, bro? You waited until after I called the cops to then tell me that you hit that guy and ran? So now I'm like, oh, fuck, dude. So we go meet up with a cop and uh, they arrest my friend and take him away. And I just left in my broken ass truck, which he never paid me to fix. I also had to fix my own truck. Some bitch. That's how everybody was around here back then, dude. Everybody was fucking wild. Every night we went out, it was a bar fight or crashing trucks or like, dude, you know, just fight doing the horrible things. Oh, that's right. I made a Kumpas box, which is missing. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Am I? Oh, there it is. There it is, dude. I, I forgot I died it. I died it. So we got home, dude. We need the home box. All right. Let's 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 chip away a little bit here. You think still not enough ice? Yeah, no, I don't think it's enough ice either. I, we are going to have one more day. <laughs> well, we're definitely going to have one more day. Black thing in the portal in the middle. What's this thing in the middle? That's the creeper farm. That's the whole point of this place. I'll be looking. You know what I mean? 
Hey, chat, you out of your mind, bro. We literally have like three more loops like I just did and it's done. Okay, don't, don't, don't hold me to the three, but you know, close. Why do the walls need to be blue ice? Uh, well, number one, it just makes sense, right? Packed ice, you go deeper, more pressure, blue ice. Uh, also, it's because we started. I built like one row. Once you put down one row, you got to finish what you start, right? Your parents teach you that. You always got to finish what you start. So uh, here I am. I am finishing what I started, even though I too understand <laughs> That this is a terrible idea. But guess what? Still got to get finished. Van Halen taught me that. No, Van Halen taught you that you're here. Right now. It's your magic moment. You do it right here and now. Oh, right now. Wah! 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 That could have been way worse. That could have been way worse. Blue Eyes Project. Yeah, I don't know how regular you of a viewer you are, but you won't find a single project in my world that happens faster. Every single thing I set up to do takes months. Everything. If it's taking you more than five minutes, just like do it easier. <laughs> hey. True. I wonder what the context of that was. I wonder what I was saying that in regards to. We're out, eyes, boys. How close have we got? Yeah, we are so close, chat. We're literally so close, dude. We're almost there, boys. We're almost there. Whoosh. What? Subscribe for more.